Hey guys, welcome back to another Ben 10 action figure collection video. Uh, today we're going to be covering um, my Ultimate Alien uh, action figures from Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. So, to start off, here we have Ultimate Cannon Bolt. And I don't know if it's going to focus all that well, but whatever. We're just showing off the figure here. So you can see he's got the Ultimatrix symbol. Here's the back of them. Yeah, so for articulation, you know, he could just move his arms around and just kind of, you know, take a seat. You know, take a break from life every once in a while. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it for Cannibal. I don't have one of the original Cannibal figures to compare him, nor do I have the uh, reboot figure to compare him to. So, you know, he's just kind of here. And, uh... He wasn't always my favorite character, you know, he just kind of rolled around into a ball and whatever, so I didn't really care for him all too much. And uh, here's an Alien Force figure. This is Swamp Fire, obviously. And uh, once again, the camera is having trouble focusing, so there we go. So we're going to be comparing Swamp Fire to Ultimate Swamp Fire here, and as you can see, he's a bit bigger than the original Swamp Fire. Here he is, side by side, and then the back of both figures. Really liking Ultimate Swamp Fire's design. So for articulation, you know, Ultimate Swamp Fire can move his arms up and down, he can twist them like that, you know. His legs can go forward and back and bend at the knee. And that's basically it for Ultimate Swamp Fire. Just get a good pose for him. There we go, Ultimate Swamp Fire. Alright, next up, here is the Humongosaur Alien Force figure. And here is his ultimate form, Ultimate Humongosaur from Ultimate Alien. <laughs> I said ultimate a lot. <clears throat> Anyways, so you can see Ultimate Humongosaur is a lot heftier, even though he is shorter than the original Humongosaur. So you can see he's got like a shell and like a mace on his tail. Ultimate Humongosaur kind of reminds me of uh, Bowser from Super Mario. Just kind of with the design. So, you can turn his head in a really weird way. You can move his arms, bend at the elbow. You can kind of move his legs, and he could bend at the knee. And he could turn his tail, which is something the original Humongosaur couldn't do because his tail was detachable. So, that's pretty interesting. So, uh, yeah, that's Ultimate Humongosaur. Alright, next up we have Ultimate Spider Monkey. So here's Alien Force Spider Monkey. And then here's Ultimate Alien Spider Monkey. And as you can see, he's a whole lot bigger than Alien Force Spider Monkey. He's actually more of a gorilla now. So there they are side by side. And then the back of both figures. But uh, yeah, one of the legs on my Ultimate Spider Monkey is loose, so that's why he's not, you know, standing around too well. But uh, you know, Ultimate Spider Monkey can turn his head. He can move his arms up and down and bend at the elbow, and you can move his leg. Well, actually, you can move all of his legs, as you can see, all his spider legs. So uh, yeah, that's Ultimate Spider Monkey. Alright, so next up, here we have Alien Force Echo Echo, and right here we have Ultimate Alien Echo Echo. Now, as Ultimate Aliens go, Ultimate Echo Echo is definitely my favorite redesign, as you can see. He definitely got a major upgrade somewhere along the series. It's pretty cool. So, for articulation, you know, Ultimate Echo Echo, oops, he could turn his head, 
Uh, you could turn his arms, no elbow articulation, you know, move his leg and bend the knee. So, pretty standard stuff. But, yeah, that's Echo Echo. Alright. So, next up, this is going to be uh, quite tricky because um, next up is Big Chill. So, here are his Alien Force counterparts. And then right here we have um, Ultimate Big Chill, but this is a redesigned Ultimate Big Chill from later on in the toy line. And, uh, you know, this is actually from a series of toys called the Haywire Figures. And basically with the Haywire Figures, you know, all the colors of the aliens got mixed up because their DNA got mixed up. And so uh, Ultimate Big Chill got mixed with Armadrillo. So... This is why he's yellow. So here they are next to each other. Pretty much the same figure, just kind of redesigned a little bit. Which I don't really mind. I really do like um, Ultimate Big Chill. Uh, let's see, so for articulation, you know, you could turn his head. And you can move his arms up. And just move his leg up. No elbow or knee articulation. Uh, he could flap his wings. So, you know because he could fly and then with uh, as with this big chill you could remove his antenna but I don't really want to do that because that would take way too much time so there's ultimate big chill it's kind of a shame we didn't get like a ultimate big chill cloaked alright and then next up since he got his Colors switched with Big Chill, Armadrillo. It's a really nice looking alien, guys. This is, this is a really nice looking figure. Overall, I think Ultimate Alien was my favorite um, series. And the toys that were released for Ultimate Alien were also really good. Um, you can't turn his head. You can move his arms up and, you know, bend at the elbow. And uh, move the legs. And bend at the knee at a really weird angle, though. And uh, you could also move his tail. But, uh, yeah. That's Armadrillo. Look at that. Ultimate Humongosaur is back. And the reason for that is because here we have um, Amphibian. Who switched colors with Ultimate Humongosaur. So, this is his Haywire figure. So as you can see, he's got the same colors as Humongosaur. And yeah. Now this guy got some really uh, weird articulation, but that just comes with the design. You know, you can turn his head, and you can move his arms like all around. It's on like this really weird like ball joint. And then you can move his legs, bend at the knee. So, yeah. That's Amphibian. Alright, next up, another aquatic alien, I guess. Water Hazard. And, uh, it's kind of funny because in the reboot, uh, there's this new alien called Overflow. But, to me, he just kind of reminds me of Water Hazard because they have the same powers and kind of the same colors. So, it's kind of surprising that, uh, they didn't just name him Water Hazard. But yeah, here's the figure. Bring him closer. Just an all around look at the figure. And then for articulation, I don't know if you could turn his head, but you can't anyways because he's got like this hood. Um, you can move his arms, bend him at the elbow. You can move his legs forward and bend at the knee. So. Again, just normal Ben 10 Ultimate Alien figures. So that's Water Hazard. And then here we have Terra Spin, which I actually made an unboxing video about with uh, Ultimate Spider Monkey a while ago. I just now remembered. You know, this, this guy looks pretty, you know, plain. He's kind of a small figure, but I really like his design. Like, this figure just... I don't know, I guess it's just the simplicity of it. It's just a really, really nicely made figure. 
Or I don't know, maybe I just like turtles too much, you know? I like turtles. So, uh, for articulation, you know, you could turn his head again at a really weird angle. Um, you can move his arms up, just have him going, <laughs> you know, just being all frustrated, saying he's done with life, throwing his arms up. And then, surprisingly, you can move his legs, but really, there's nothing you can do with him. So, yeah, that's Terror Spoon. And, uh, you could also remove his shell, but I'm not going to because, you know, I'm afraid of breaking these figures. They're actually pretty old. And then here, another one of my favorite aliens is NRG. So here he is. He's like, uh, basically like a walking furnace. You know, he's got this suit that contains all the heat from his powers. Alright, and so for articulation, energy can move his arm. You know, he could bend at the elbow. You could twist his leg at a really weird position and bend him at the knee. So, that's basically it. And yeah, that's energy. So here we have... Etol, and I'm trying to get his figure into frame here, but there it is. All right, so this is Etol, and basically he's just a beetle whose power is to eat and turn anything he eats into an energy beam that comes out of his horn. Really nice character design, really cool character. Uh, you could turn his head up at the top, but it's kind of weird because his mouth doesn't move, and. Uh, you know, you can move his arm, bend him at the elbow, bend his leg, bend him at the knee, and that's basically it for an or Edel. He's basically like Upchuck, you know, he's got the same powers, but uh, he's just a lot cooler looking. And then after Edel, we have another one of my favorite aliens. Uh, this is Arctic Guana, and he's basically just a... Uh, Arctic Iguana, you know, he's got freeze powers, and yeah, overall, he just looks really cool. There's his Omnitrix, as you can see, got some nice paint. With this figure, you can open his mouth up, it's very detailed, you can move his arms, bend him at the elbow, but yeah, you can bend him at the elbow, can move his leg and bend at the knee even which is more than I think is necessary for this figure but whatever once again it's still a really cool looking figure so that's arctic guana and then for this next guy I'm probably gonna have trouble with him so let me grab the camera real fast so this is way big and way big is way big like he's a really big character to compare him I guess I'll grab one of the other guys here's water hazard you can see he's way bigger but uh the reason why he's bigger is because he's actually a feature figure and uh, his whole feature is that you can make him bigger so let me do that so he's basically a transformer which is kind of funny so once you extend him to full size he's a lot more you know accurate in size as he was in the show much bigger than water hazard as you can see so, uh, I guess I'll just kind of show you some more of the figure. As you can see. Really nice figure, by the way. The only articulation that he has is that he can move his arms. And that's it. <laughs> so, what you get with, uh, you know, um, accurate size and, you know, nice paint jobs, you lose in articulation. But... That's alright. He's still a really, really cool looking figure. So yeah, that's way big. Alright, so then the last couple of figures that I wanted to show you guys actually came with some of the other figures. They're just these little, like, 
feature figures that you got for buying the toy for a uh, something called I guess it was the Revolution Ultimatrix or something like that. And, yeah, they're just these little figures that you could collect. Here's Ultimate Big Chill. Here's Amphibian. There it is. Amphibian. And then here is um, Armadrillo. And then here's Arctic Guana. And then finally we have Eatle. Alright, and then the final figure that we have here, Fiddle Focus, is Eatle. It's just this tiny little figure. And that's that. So, those are the little figures that you get alongside with some of the other Ultimate Alien figures. And yeah, that's basically it for these guys. Alright, you guys, so those are all my Ben 10 Ultimate Alien figures. As you can see, these are all the figures that I've collected from, you know, the show. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks if you watched the entire thing. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.